Now I want to show you guys how to set up an RGB pass for these eyes. So we have this shot here, very simple. We've got the, the character here in the foreground. And I just want to create uh, an RGB pass for the eyeballs themselves. And I want to show you a couple different ways to do that. So first off here, we've got the shot. And what I did was I went ahead and I um, turned all of the set pieces off. And for the character, I went ahead and assigned a, a new material. And I assigned um, a AI matte material. Now this will, go ahead and just do this. Um, you can see here, you can have the idea of controlling the color and the opacity. So I just wanna set both of those to black. They're essentially cutting out so that when I apply this RGB pass to the, um, to the render, you can see that it's only gonna be isolated to within the eyes. So the big thing that we wanna assign this, this matte pass to is all the skin, the eyebrows, uh, and especially the eyelids. So when they blink, you want that to hold out the mat so you're not seeing the blink. So so the uh, you know you're not color correcting the iris of the eye even as the eye blinks, it'll cut through the skin. Okay, so we've got that. Now the two ways that we want to uh, set this up is that we uh, just for starters, I want to show you like say I wanted to just create a um, RGB pass for just the outer eyeball. So this eye has uh, some multiple pieces of geometry. So we've got the outer eyeballs here, which I'll go ahead and, and add to a visibility layer here. We'll call these the corneas. Right click, add selective objects. Now we can turn those on and off so you can see the inner eyeball geo. So for the outer eyeball geo, we're just gonna go ahead, we wanna make the screen left one red and the screen white one green. Uh, and the way that I can do that is I can right click, add new material, go to an AI, we'll just go to a flat material. And then in this, we can just change this adjustment to red. Now if we update this render, You can see that the eye is red here, and then on the, on the screen right side, we can just assign another new material, AI flat, and make that one green. Easy peasy, right? Now, there's going to be some more. Uh, there's going to be situations where things get a little bit more complex than that. Um, you know, we're not. You're not able to assign it to the entire piece of geometry, but only to uh, some of it. So let's go ahead and uh, make these. Uh, turn the corneas off. We'll go ahead and get a little bit closer in here on the eyes. And you can see, let's go back into the renderer here. Now we've got the, the corneas turned off, so now we're just seeing the iris, the sclera, and the pupil. Um, but if I click this, you'll see that the sclera and the iris are one piece of geometry. So you can't do the same technique that we just did uh, with uh, just like overwriting all of it to a, a new matte layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into their Arnold, sh their individual Arnold shaders, go all the way to the right here on the geo. You'll see the sclera, and you'll see the iris, and it's they're going to be the both for the right and left eyes. So in the sclera, we're going to scroll down here to this matte area, and we're going to enable matte and change this color to red. You can see it updating here, and then for the uh, iris, we're going to do the same thing green and then we'll select the pupil same thing blue and that's it and that's how we create our rgb pets uh, mats for the eyes uh, but remember you can uh, extrapolate that out to any of the geo that you want to and there you go so if you have any questions just let me know